Hello, everybody. Welcome back. How's it going today? It's me, FOV90 Woolen. Or unless... Unless... That's right, FOV130. We're zooming. We're playing Hydro. Whoa. After all these years, finally, I've been able to find a server playing this bloody map. I've heard so much about. So obviously, Hydro, it's been around for six bloody million years, right? There was a launch title for the game. I know this. I've played a fair amount of Hydro in my day. There are actually quite a lot of community servers playing it in Europe, you know, like eight, nine years ago. I don't know where they are now. I've seen a couple. They're, people like it for randomizer, don't they? But this is what you're really here for, right? TF2 Classic, they add in a massive, massive player cap. What are they going to do? They get the biggest bloody map in the game, I swear. Well, the biggest default map, at least. Swiftwater's also absolutely enormous. Snowy Coast, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, just put four teams on it. Um, this server, being kind of kind of funky and fresh in its own way, also has a class mod on it. Uh, what was it called? Class Wars, that's it. The one that we played in the other video with a uh, soldier and stuff. Our team seems to be playing Demo Man, and despite what the server browser says, with 44 latency, mm, looking to be a bit, bit shy of that. <laughs> it looks like we're at about 173 ping. Uh, that's okay. It's not like we're playing an only projectile class, right? What? We are? Against Sniper? Ah, oh, it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. He's using the Huntsman as well for some reason. He's a hunting rifle. It's good. They haven't nerfed it yet, apparently. Come back here. I, I don't know. I'm assuming the team's working on an absolute ton of stuff right now. Hello, young friend. Maybe we're fine, actually. Maybe this is the perfect night to be playing Demon Man on. He fell down a pit. All right. Ah! I want to I go back in there. I want to get back in there, and I want to bap some boys. Let's try out some other weapons, by the way, while we're here. Good opportunity. Uh, dynamite pack. I've heard that the dynamite's actually very strong, and they want, or at least the community, well, they, but they, uh, they want to maybe lower it a little bit. So let's give it a go. I think you just yeet it, and then it does like a zillion damage. And I believe that some classes can destroy it, question mark? Maybe the engineer? Not too sure. Maybe that's what the coil gun's for. Oh, yeah, speaking of the coil gun, you haven't seen that video. Go have a, go have a little peek. We did a custom, custom weapons video, all that. Um, people were talking about how you can rocket jump with it. And I think we gave it a bit of a go in the video. We, like, tried it once. I feel like you don't get any height with it. And it's just not worth losing 100,000 health for. Hello, friend. There's, there's the sentries. I, I heard him. Couldn't see him. Where'd they go? There they are. By the way, not only is this Hydro, but it's Hydro at night. I don't know how you all felt about this. I think the first classic video we did, we were on Bad Water at night. I love it. This skybox is superb. Um, whenever I used to make uh, Source Filmmaker thumbnails like exclusively, because I mean these days, sometimes I make them in Source Filmmaker, but normally they're, they're cursed a little bit. I, I like to curse my thumbnails a little bit these days. We might want stickies just to deal with these sentries, by the way. But um, I used to love changing the skybox in Source Filmmaker to like the nighttime ones, particularly the one they have on. Uh, what's it? What's the the? Ah, what's that map called? Nightfall, maybe Nightfall. Nightfall, that sort of map. Or, or, or the the CTF. Is it? I don't know. CTF at night. That's what the map's called, surely. That skybox is beautiful, and playing TF2, or at least making Source Filmmaker, where you change the skybox tonight, I think looks really pretty, and I like this. I honestly love the design of Hydro, I, mean, I think it's sort of a massive shame that it was never popular in, like, modern TF2, because I think it's really pretty. I know it's horribly unbalanced and blah 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 blah. I think it's pretty. I'm assuming, by the way, they want us to capture... Jesus wept, we're in the sniper. I want to be in the engineer zone. <laughs> we've we've gone from Charmander into the Bulbasaur zone. I want to be going. No wait, hang on, that doesn't work. Which we're Bulbasaur because we're green. We went into the the yellow zone, which you'd think would be electric, but then that doesn't really work. Hmm. We want to attack the engineers. Is the point I'm getting at, which is red team. Funnily enough, so I don't know what I'm saying. I was trying to make a funny Pokemon analogy. All right, I'm trying my absolute best. I like that game. I think it's a good- I think it's a good old video game. You're on my team. You're not blue. I promise I'm not colorblind, by the way. This sentry's here. Bow. Oh my word. He yump! He- he's- he's yumping. He's like a bloody Super Mario speedrunner. <sighs> What's happening with GDQ this year? Is it all gonna be virtual? When's it- when's it happening? What- Oh god. Melee battling on high FEV is not something my brain was prepared for. Because obviously melee, 
Yeah, you, you sort of get to know it on 90 FOV. You know what parts of the screen you can smack. Rather difficult when the engineer is eight feet away from you, but what are you doing there? Maybe it's more difficult trying to shoot projectiles. <laughs> what am I doing? We need to move as a team. Like, this is the perfect, perfect ideal, right? Like, we're attacking Engies as a hundred demo men. Or like six demo men. Pretty close, honestly. Get out, get back here. They're coming into the- I'm assuming we need to get the maximum points and then wait for the timer to go out, right? I'm scared. I like- the high FOV is making me play like this is Quake, like I want to be jumping everywhere, but that's not how this works, because this game has sentry guns in it. Uh, much obliged, I've been dabbed on. Get back here. It's also infinite respawn, which probably should give us the benefit, honestly, because they can't infinitely respawn their sentries. We've lost the control point. Who's who's the fourth team? I feel like we've only seen demo men and the snipers. There's not two NG teams, right? Who's blue? Hey, sni snipers blue and yellow? Hello? So, why, why can't we just capture the sniper point then? Oh god, Jesus, absolute wept. Where are they? They're in the walls. I... All right, formulate a plan and go along it. There's a sniper here. He saw us, so that means he's gonna stand still and be an easy bap. Bap, come here, brother. Bap. No, 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 no escaping the, he ran away. You know, maybe Sniper's actually quite good on this map. He, he does just sort of bap you, doesn't he? Oh, we need to give this a good go. I also should probably buy a new mouse at some point, but I'm, I'm too, I'm too, not obsessed, what's the word? I'm too like attached to this one. How come Mum lets you have two sniper teams? I like this one. It's like a Razor Death Adder 2013. Whoa. And I never want to use another Razor mouse because they got rid of the bloody internal storage. So you have to use Synapse if you want to have your... Your PPI claimed? No, what is it? Your DPI. That's it. I, achievement progress. Whoa. Uh, unless you want to buy like the really expensive brand new one, but I don't really see the point. This old mouse seems to work pretty well. It's just the middle mouse button. Oh, sniper! I get to have a go. What weapon are we using? The regular sniper rifle? Let's give it a go for a bit, alright? Ye RFOV up. That's right, I'm gonna be seeing through walls. Which, uh... Isn't true, by the way. Uh, Source Mod, obviously, back in the day, used to allow you to have FOV a bazillion. Um, until everyone cheated with it and they got rid of it. Hello, please allow me to be free. Good sir? M hmm. Maybe the Huntsman's not the worst idea. It is rather tough. To, uh, to snipe a boy that's going blong like that. Do you see him? Or at least like the hunting revolver. We can just like spam it. Oh my word, the arc. <laughs> I was not mentally prepared for the arc. You know, as I was enjoying the, you know, the beach arc, I was enjoying the, uh, the festival arc. Was not mentally prepared for the friendship lost arc. What happened? What are you doing sitting in spawn? Why? The, who were you attacking? Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. Ragdolls, I love them. I also love that this still runs at like a thousand FPS. Or like, you know, 120 FPS. Despite the fact that it's Hydro. Famously a large map, as I said earlier. Hang on. I... Ah! I can't... Can't... Help! Sorry, I... I... I turned into a YouTuber for a second there. Probably the... <laughs> Probably the biggest insult to you can give a human being. I became a YouTuber. Just speaking in noises and reactions, but this is this is our zone, right? I thought Baguette Master. <laughs> I hate that avatar. <laughs> it's too bad. Um you think and you know, demo man against engineer would be good. How about sniper v engineer on the largest map? Come back here. I want I want that soldier, but he's He's hitting everyone with his rocket bloody launcher. So yeah, there wasn't there like a dev diary on this map? Maybe not the right word, but there was a development... Ah, what's the word? Commentary on Hydro. And they talked about how they have like all these rooms so all the classes have something. And I really liked that. So I feel like a bunch of the later maps were like, hey, here's a cool like design on paper for like payload. And then afterwards they're like, okay, how do we stop snipers from being strong? Where do we put the sentries? Blah, blah, blah. I feel like this, this map had like a ton of thought put into it and it seemed like so unique. And it just never really went anywhere beyond release, and it was such a shame. Like, you know Steel? 
CP Steel, the map that's extremely confusing to try and play competitive games on. Because when you're telling your chat, hey, we have a Steel official soon, they're like, aren't you Prem? And then you go, yes. Well, back in the day, yes. Nowadays, I'm assuming I'm like a bloody UGC slightly melted butter. <laughs> um... No, you know, it's just, it was com it was confusing. That's what I'm getting at. I don't want to I don't want to overcomplicate the commentary. We are just bapping people with a sniper rifle on a map. Who are the other teams, by the way? Sniper soldiers. They're not like a spy team or something. I'm not seeing anyone. But yes, yeah, steel as a map, beautifully designed. Really strange. Sometimes it's the worst map in the game to play on. Sometimes it's the best map in the game to play on because you actually feel like your teamwork got you somewhere. Did none of none of those counted, huh? Not a single one of those counted as a hit. Hey, oh, it says in the top left who's playing what, does it? That's useful info. I guess there's a demo man as well. But uh, beautifully designed, there's like a million corridors, different ways to go around the map. If you know it well enough, there's like shortcuts you can take and stuff. Amazing. There's not really any other maps like it. And I, I'm assuming why is because it's quite hard to plan a map like Steel, really. Where there's like sort of a a million back routes and a million forward routes and so many ways to push and formulate plans and sometimes in pubs, you know, people just spawn camp indefinitely. What the heck was that? Ping, you be high. Alright, brother. Top scoring, by the way. Pretty juicy. But, it's a shame. I just wanted to see more of that and I don't think Highlander ever really got a, really, really got another map like it. Because you know how, um, at least in CSGO, a lot of maps run like... None of these count, huh? No one can hit him. He is the he is the Matrix. It's Neo. There's CS:GO. Everything's like sort of a three-lane plan, right? Because some time ago, everyone sort of decided that just sort of works. Like all the other maps, they tested everything, making every map sort of have three lanes to attack from just seemed to be the best. So a lot of CS:GO maps end up being very similar, or at least you know just being dust two copy and pasted with like a slightly different texture and slightly different walkways. TF2 doesn't have that. I feel like there's so many like different map styles, you know? You got your you got your your Dust Bowl and then your your Gold Rush, which is literally just Dust Bowl rotated slightly with a payload cart put into it. If you haven't seen that by the way, look at it. Go Google like a top down view of Dust Bowl and Gold Rush and just compare. Compare, contrast, and send me an essay by Tuesday. And I want to hear your replies on that. Love both maps by the way. I know it's a little controversial and a bit of a meme, but my first, like, 3,000 hours of the game were playing Dust Bowl Kunai Spy and, like, Demo Man, which is kind of funny when you think about it. And then I went into competitive, and I was like, hang on. <laughs> I don't have to die immediately. I can just die slightly delayed. Insane. Uh, but yeah, I actually love Dust Bowl. I have, like, a strong sense of nostalgia playing on that map, even to this day. Like, we've done a few streams lately playing TF2. Sometimes we just end up on Dust Bowl, and I'm like, yeah, you know, this is where I need to be right now. I I know these corridors well, you know, they've changed a little bit over the years, remolded, reformatted, but still at its core, it's still Dust Bowl. That's why I like Gold Rush as well, sort of. I think it's quite a fun payload map, even if it's a bit stupid. What are you doing? There's another boy right in front of me. But yeah, like, excluding that, I feel like all the maps are very different and unique. Like, a lot of payload maps... They like, they like their upwardiness, in the sense that it's very easy to push last, and then last is impossible to push, and that's seemingly how they balanced it. Come back here. Oh, I don't have to reload after every shot. Stop that. You can go to spawn, it's right there! Ooh, what's this? No. Get out of, get out of there, right? We need to push. We can win as sniper team, because we have the best firepower. Um, by which I mean we, we can shoot stuff with our guns, and then they fall over and have to respawn. Uh, which, by the way, is instant. That might be why we're having some difficulty, because we can't really hold a point, can we? Like, there's demo men, they got stickies and stuff. He's chasing. Does he know the map well enough to know how to chase? The, that's the question. Hey, friends! You have a lot of health for a demo man. Has no one, no one bopped you yet? By the way, I should stop taking massive pauses between my stories, because I keep forgetting what I'm talking about. <laughs> Like, I was talking about map design. That seems like a pretty good, like, TF2 live commentary sort of sort of deal. I've now forgotten what I was... I'm, like, aging. I'm, I, am I? Uh, what's happened? I've got my Pepushi dog picture. Is it, It's all these bloody VTubers, isn't it? So you want to know, like, a short bit of history, right? I was, like, one of the first thousand subscribers to Kizuna Ai back in the day. Uh, her videos were, like, posted on Reddit, like, her first video. And I was like, yeah, hey, this seems cool. 
And I watched like all of them for the first couple months and everything started going weird. She made like a gaming channel and became like a millionaire and I was like, what's going on? It's no longer about the high domos and these days it's just about the what's up brother, you know? So, you know, sort of recently, and maybe like a couple months ago, I came across a video of a funny dog playing uh, video games on Twitter and I was like, this is fun. I'll, you know, subscribe to that. And then extremely recently, one of my friends, thanks by the way, um, got me to watch a zillion Hololive videos. So now that's just sort of my life, you know? I, By day, I, I'm a streamer, and by night, I I watch Hololive videos. And it's kind of scary, honestly, because I don't quite know where it's going to reach me. He said there's only a few months worth of content, maybe. Uh, of translated content, at least, which didn't exist a little while ago. So at some point, I'm going to run out, and then what am I going to do? Am I going to have to learn a new language just to be able to watch YouTube content? They all stream for so long. What do I do? Send help. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's that's a short little history lesson. And origin of Pepushi Doog. Because she played Pepsi Man. That was very cute. Anyway. Clearly my brain is unrailed, and I need to like go eat lunch or something. So I'm going to end the video there for now. It seems like a pretty good cutting point. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful time, and I will see you all next time with some high-quality content. Thank you very much, and have a good evening. Good night.